By the end of this video we'll have added a bounce trap and a spike trap to our game. When you hit the spike trap you'll bounce up in the air and take damage and when you hit the bounce trap you'll bounce up in the air but you won't take damage. Very cool, let's check it out. So let's start with our spike trap. We'll right click in our hierarchy and go create empty and call it spike trap. Then click add component and add a sprite renderer. And in the sprite renderer, I'm going to select the spike sprite from Kenny's tile map. I'm going to click the move tool in our scene view and drag this down so it's just above this platform. Next, let's add another component and add a box collider 2D. And I'm going to click is trigger. Then I'm going to edit the collider and zoom in here and just make this fit the top of our spike and then pull it in from the bottom up a bit and to the sides. So we get hit when we touch the very tip of the spikes. Cool, now we'll write the script for our trap. So if we click add component, new script, and we'll call this trap. And we're gonna name this trap instead of spike trap because we're gonna reuse this for both spike and bounce trap. If we double click in this to open it up, and in here I'm gonna add a public float called bounce force and set this to a default of 10F. Then I'm gonna do a public int called damage and set this to a default of one. We're not gonna need start or update, but we are gonna to wanna to write a on trigger enter 2D function. And in here we'll say if our collision dot game object dot compare tag is equal to player. So then we pass in player. Then we're gonna call a function called handle player bounce. And in here we're gonna pass our collision dot game object. So let's write this function. Down below we'll go private void handle player bounce and the parameter will be a game object called player. To get our player to bounce up, we're gonna to wanna to get the rigid body 2D. So we'll have a rigid body 2D called RB and we'll do this equals our player dot get component rigid body 2D. Now we're gonna check if this was successful and we did get a rigid body by saying if RB, this checks if it's null or not. So if it's not null, what we're first gonna do is reset our player's velocity in case we're already applying any gravity effects. So we'll go RB dot velocity equals new vector two, and we're gonna pass in our current rb velocity dot x. And then on the y, we're just gonna simply pass in zero. So now our player's y velocity is reset. We can apply our bounce force. And to do this, we can go rb dot add force, because we want us to bounce up. We'll go vector two dot up times by our bounce force. And we'll go comma force mode 2d dot impulse. This uses the rigid body's mass to apply force in case your mass is higher. Cool, so with this script, when we press play and we hit one of our traps, we bounce in the air. But you can see we're not taking any damage. Our damage is currently handled in our player health script. So to keep it consistent, we'll handle this in here. So if you click on our player and go to player health, we can see we have an on trigger enter 2D function where we're checking if we collide with an enemy, we'll take damage, depending on the enemy's damage amount. Below this, we can do the same thing for a trap. So if we get the trap object and go equals collision dot get component trap. So we're trying to grab the trap script off of whatever we've collided with. And we'll say if we do collide with a trap, then we'll take damage and pass in our trap dot damage. And we'll also only want to do this up in our if, if our trap dot damage is greater than zero, because spoiler alert, our bounce trap isn't gonna do any damage. And we don't wanna keep calling this function if not necessary. Cool, so now if we test this out in Unity, when we press play, now when we jump onto a spike trap, we bounce up in the air and take damage. Now to make a bounce trap, if we select our spike trap, copy by pressing control C and then pasting by pressing control V. I'll rename this one bounce trap and I'll set the damage on our script to zero and our bounce force to 15. Then in the sprite renderer, I'm gonna select a different sprite and we'll use the one of this bounce trap. I'll move this over in our scene and then check our box collider 2D. You can see this isn't on the top of our bounce trap. I'll just drag this to the top and just make sure it fits. Cool, now we've damaged at zero and the bounce force up. We can use this to spring up. So if we press play, we can now jump on our bounce trap and spring into the air. And that's it, a fun and easy way to add traps to your game. In the next video, we're gonna be adding secret areas, which you can use to add things like collectibles and special items, or just hidden zones within your maps. Adds a little intrigue. Oh cool, that's it. See you in the next one. Bye.